Not far from the Porter's Lodge, you'll find our range of recently refurbished postgrad houses along Stories Way. 64 Stories Way, also known as Pinch and Riley House, is a fine example of these postgrad houses which have their gardens backing onto the college site. This 1920s house has a private garden with an old orchard and offers 15 postgrad rooms over three floors. The communal facilities include a laundry room, a large kitchen with separate dining and sitting areas, and a snack kitchen on the middle floor. There are five shower rooms and a store on the top floor for suitcases. Let's meet Jenny to find out more about her experience of being a resident here. I really like living in Pinch and Riley because of the big communal area. Um, when I first got here in the fall, some of my friends and I actually went out into the backyard where we have apple trees and we picked some of the apples um, and made an apple cobbler and then we invited our other friends over and we had like a nice little get together which was really fun. I really like the fact that we have our own sinks in our rooms. Um, we have like shared uh, bathroom and shower areas but having your own sink is really convenient for at night when you want to you know wind down for bed. And then I also really like all of the natural lighting from the really large windows that we have in our rooms. It's really convenient living here. Um, it's maybe like a two minute walk to the dining hall and the library. Um, it's not that far from the city center either. And I especially like how close it is to the astronomy department, which is where I work. It's like less than 10 minutes for me to get there in the mornings. I would recommend living in Pinch and Riley. Um, I think that the atmosphere of the house is really social because people can just run into each other in the kitchen and like strike up a conversation or hang out over dinner or something but it's also um, nice because you have your own solitary space and you don't have to always be around people if you don't want to.